Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you how you can fix the, the lines when you do an outline of a letter and when it butts up against another letter, you get those overlapping lines that actually look like this. This is what I'm talking about. So annoying. How can you have this be just like a nice smooth fill, especially when it comes to script fonts? I'm going to show you how to do that and really take things to the next level. And we're going to do this all using the appearance panel. So we're going to open up that appearance panel right in here. We could see the stroke and the fill right here. And what we want to do is we always want to make sure the stroke is underneath the fill just like that. Boom done. Make sure that's underneath it. And we can have a lot of fun with this because we could decide to maybe even add multiple strokes. So let's have fun right in here. Jump in here. We'll add another one, maybe 20 point and a different color like so. And we'll add this a couple times right in here, incrementing uh, by about 10 points each, getting this nice outline. We'll do this one more time. Drop that in, go up to about 40, and change this just to a nice green so we can see it. So it's cool that we've done that. Go with the flow. We have these uh, lovely lines. And essentially what we made is we made a graphic styles. So let's open up our graphic styles panel. Because what we want to do is we want to save this. So right in here, we could save it put it right there, and now we can use that anytime we want to in the future. But that's how all these graphic styles are made. So I can click on one of these other ones. Let's click on this one, and there it is. Gorgeous, look at that. In fact, if we take a peek at the appearance panel, we could see it's made up of a bunch of fills. And not only that, not only multiple fills, how you get it offset like this, giving it that, that depth, is there's a transform associated with it. So this transform has this off one pixel uh, horizontally and vertically and make 10 copies of it. So there's 10 copies of this color, 10 copies of the next, 10 copies of the next as well. And that's how that's done. And that's really the power of the appearance panel and graphic styles all in Illustrator. So check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching.